Hello everybody, uh, it's that time of year again. There's been a new release of Pi Amiga, so it's now Pi Amiga 3. And today I'm going to look at how we can get Pi Amiga 3 working in Windows 11 under WinUAE. This has primarily been developed for the Raspberry Pi 4 and the Pi 400. But what this tutorial does is give you a chance to actually experience Pi Amiga 3 in the Windows environment. Obviously, as mentioned at the beginning, it might not have the full capacity and all the utils, etc. But it gives you an idea of what a great program stroke front end this is, especially if you're into the Amigas. So the first thing you need to do is head over to Chris Edwards Restoration YouTube channel. I'll put a link in the description um, and definitely sub to him and support him. Buy him a coffee. Uh, here you can download the actual Pi Amiga 3 torrent file. So if you go into the comments, it's listed there. Also, the best client to get it is Qubit Torrent. So again, download that and you will have no problems in getting the actual file itself. So once we've got the Pi Amiga Torrent download, we then need something to read the, the IMG file, which obviously is made for the Raspberry Pi. A great program to do this is called Linux Reader. And I'll put the links in the description below. So if you click on the get it for free and download that, if you want to upgrade for, to Pro, then by all means do so. The good thing about this program is as well, you can use it for any IMG file. It, so it also uses, looks at um, virtual hard drives and things like that. So it's not just useful for this actual tutorial, but it can be useful for other things as well. So once we've downloaded it and installed it, it will come up with a screen like this when the first time you run it, which shows the hard drives that you've got installed on your computer. The thing we need to do is mount the IMG file. So if you go to Drives, Mount Image, and then select Raw Disk Images, then go to where you've saved the Pi Mega 3 image on your hard drive and select. This will then bring up two more hard drives located, one at 43 gigabytes and one at 256. We select the one at 43 and go to the home folder, select Pi folder, and then we go to the Pi, Pi Amiga folder, highlight the four folders in there, and then we need to save these or extract them to our hard drive. So we click on save, click on save files, click on next. This will then enumerate the size of what the folder is. This could take a few minutes. Once it's finished doing this, it will then ask you where you want to save the for uh, the files too. So make sure that save directory structure is selected, then type in the location of where you want to save the Pi Mega 3 files to that are going to be extracted. Then click next. It should then bring up the four folders, the ADF disks, HDF and temp folder. Then click next again and now it will recover the files to the location you've selected. This can take up to an hour and a half, two hours. I left mine running while I went and did something else. Once this is completed, we need to get the configure file. So again, go to the Pi folder and we need to go into the Amaberry folder and we need to go into the conf folder, which then, which is where the UAE files are located. So select the two files that we need, so that's Mega AGS and the Pi Mega UAE. Again, click Save, click on the Next button, and select where you want to save them, and then again, it will extract these files to that place. Next, if you haven't already done so, we need to download WinUAE, the emulator that emulates the Amiga. Again, I'm not going into too much detail of how you install this, but basically, you just click on which version you want, the 32-bit or the 64-bit installer, and just click on it and download it. You will need the ROM files. Now, I'm not going to tell you where the ROM files are, but you can you can purchase the ROM files legally through Cloanto and Amiga Forever. If you go onto their web page, you can get the, the Kickstart ROM files. I think it's as little as 9, nine euros at the moment, because I believe there's a value edition, again, which includes the relevant kickstart ROMs that are required to run WinUAE.
once that's been done we then need to put the conf files that we've downloaded into the configurations folder of WinUAE so again find where that configuration folder is it's usually in in documents public documents etc and copy that over copy the two files that we downloaded and place them in the configurations folder once this is done we now need to run WinUAE we go to the configurations tab and you should see mm. PyMega3 in there because we've put it in there so you click on the PyMega3 and we load that configuration this is really important that we do that so once we've loaded that we can then go to CD and hard drive and you will see that it lists those folders that we were looking for now we need to tell the system where those folders are so one by one we click on the item so the first one is system we collect we click on select directory we then click on the folder disks which is where the other folders are then select system which is the folder it's looking for and select select folder this now tells WinUAE that that folder is located at that position on your hard drive and then should make the PyMega system look for those and run correctly we go down the list and do each one in turn making sure that we've selected the right location for each of the relevant folders once we've finished doing this it is really important that you go back to configurations and click the save button making sure that PyMega 3 is the one that's selected so it saves the new locations once this is completed we can now reset it open configurations double click on PyMega and it will load up PyMega 3 PyMega PyMega 3 again has got all the great things built in such as the games directory, the demos directory, lots of utilities in there, the ability to emulate a Mac within the system. It's such a really, really, really good um, app, program, whatever you want to call it. So as I said before, go over to Chris Edwards Restoration YouTube channel. Again, links in the bump below. Again, the video that is just put out today um, is really good it goes into so much detail about what you can do and what you can't do in in the program again like i said it's aimed for the raspberry pi but a lot of the things you can still test and run on win UAE on windows 11 so have some great fun messing about with it and thank you for watching <laughs>